Hello and welcome back, lovely Aries. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for your patience. This is going to be a general collective reading for the lovely sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, wherever you have it. This is from tonight, the 23rd of May, 2023, through the 31st of May. We are going to be ending Mercury shadow phase on the 30th. So there still is an energy of things that are still hidden that yet have to be coming out this week. Now, during this time frame of this reading, Aries, we have Mars, your ruler, moving into Leo. A burst of inspiration, new beginnings, and a lot of potential that's at hand. These are going to be some intense shifts, and it's faded events that are going to be unfolding now, Aries. So for some of us, Aries, your birthday could be on the 17th here. For some of us, Aries, this is about aligning to the stars, aligning to a higher timeline. This is wish fulfillment. Jupiter has left your sign and now has moved into Taurus. And it is in one degree point right now in the sign of Taurus. One degrees. Now this is about mending connections. You could be a Pisces, Aries, Cusper, or a Vedic Pisces. For some of you, this is number 52, mending soul connections, mending sacred uh, unions, partnerships. It could be love. It could be a, a family, a member, a sibling. It could be a connection here that you have. So this could be the part of reconciling, mending, healing, uh, a sense of a reunion, going back down memory lane, Aries, this week uh, until the 31st. There's a feeling here of innocence, a faded event that's unfolding. So a lot of you are between worlds here. So with the flamingo here, okay, you're stepping into a part now of your life where you are being crowned, okay? And at the bottom of the deck is chopping wood, 42. Master number four, master number two. Something here going on in your home, a situation, you could be doing cleanup, this could be cleaning out the clutter. This could be moving, refreshing, redoing. For some of you, it's about cleaning something up, right? When you look at the dark times that are behind you now, between worlds, it's like men are from Mars and women are from Venus, between two worlds here. So it feels like you're moving into an area of light after a period of exp going through the darkness. So there's something you're overcoming now, right? You're overcoming something, Aries, and it feels like whatever this is where you felt separated or out of sync or, or, or in a place of um, coming into understanding with nature and science and, and all of the separation of alignment, that coexistence, right? Because it's a choice here, right? There's a choice between good and evil or light and dark. It's between worlds here. So there's a, there's a feeling of, Whatever it has to do with the spiritual embarking of you going through the spiritual awakening, right? Whatever you felt that you were in separation during this period, there's a feeling of mending that connection, right? Coming back into unity, coming back into this, this place where you're exalted, Aries, right? Number three, where things are starting to work out in your favor. So this is about the energy of Father, Son, Holy Spirit, the number three, creation energy here. Building on something that you're coming to the light. So threes are also learning, working together, healing, mending connections, chopping wood, right? Preparing for something here. So let's get some tarot and we're going to see where this message is for Aries. Let's shuffle. This is for Aries. We're going to clarify the wisdom of the oracle. Very unique astrology that's playing out right now. These are faded events that are unfolding with Jupiter. Divine timing is here. There could be a second chance, a life-changing event, Aries, that you're going through. Yeah. And... It's leaving one timeline and stepping into a higher timeline. And this higher timeline is going to be mending the connections for some of you in a relationships. For some of you, 
It's with your soul, your soul connections. So what is the fates? Why is the fates here? Please cl clarify a card for the fates. Number 17. Some of you, your birthday's on the third. Yeah, for some of you, it's a fated event destined for abundance. Two of cups, boom, two cards straight out. Ten of Pentacles, this is about a family, a family dynamic. For some of you, you have children, you have generational wealth, Aries, two of cups. There is a reunion of a family here situation. And it's a fated event, Ten of Pentacles. Destiny is here. So this is good luck. This is a life cycle. This is a new beginning, a new phase that's coming in. It's very rich. It's very successful. It's a feeling of two people taking the lead. This is about Aries, a soul connection that's so powerful that it creates this wealth, right? So this is about a chance to change your future with your entire family, their lives, your well-being, and for the highest good. A faded event, Aries, that's unfolding. Now we also have a question of how many stories are we willing to rewrite? So there's a feeling of you rewriting, entering a higher timeline, a higher vibration. Hope is here. So hope is here, Aries, when it comes to this reconciling or this faded event of two people that are connecting a sacred union and you're attracting great wealth, great success. It feels like this is a glow up in a family. This is a, a sense of reaching that, that, that level of serenity by knowing that the Ten of Pentacles, there's a family, a kingdom of support here. It's like financial generational connections that this faded event leads to, Aries. Well, yeah, Jupiter's leaving you that gift of expansion and growth. So there's mending here. So for some of you, there is a situation, Gemini. For some of you, you have Gemini in your chart like me. And this is about making a choice that you're having here, right? The lovers, okay? Aries, when you look at Gemini's card, this is the fallen world here. So there's something here where you've come from a separation from your partner. And it's like, if you look at her face, she's looking up at the angels. You have access to the ethers. You're looking up to the sun, to the angel, Gabrielle, that is the messenger. So you have a choice to mend a connection, Aries, to come into union in a relationship that is divine here. It's This is your conscience partner. The both of you have a conscience connection. This is about being a part of a union here. So there is definitely a feeling of staying true to yourself and mending or reconciling the cords or the connection for the both of you because it feels like there's been a separation from the two of you. Now, I also see, like, I feel this is a choice for some of you, Aries. What is this Between Worlds? One card for Between Worlds. Between Worlds is Knight of Cups. Yeah, there is someone here that is offering a love offer on its way. This is the romantic offer, something sensitive that's coming in. I feel that whatever this Between Worlds is, like I said, someone, it's like when you look at the Knight of Cups, this knight has had to leave something behind here, okay? And it feels like this knight is coming from a place where they've had to cross the waters, cross their emotions, face something here that was emotionally withdrawing. And now you have love that's here. So it's like entering a new world, moving into a new timeline where there's romance here. There's sunshine. There's things that you're working together on love and moving forward with that cup. Someone here is very generous with their emotions. It's like you're entering a whole new world of being loved in a whole new way, Aries, is what I feel. So it's very romantic. What is this chopping wood? <clears throat> this is definitely either a twin flame or a divine counterpart, whatever you label it. This connection is very divine. The lovers. So let's see, chop wood and two of cups. Chopped wood. Why is chopped wood here for Aries? Ten of Swords. Yeah, the worst is behind you. Ten of Swords is where the sun is rising now. The sun is coming through the doorway also, number 42. So there's a feeling here of definitely coming from the Ten of Swords, which you can see 
is it's the end of a phase. The worst is now behind you. This is a feeling of getting back up on your own two feet, right? And cleaning out the mess, right? Of the swords, the betrayals, the lies, the defeat. But the sun is rising and the sun is opening the door. And now I'm seeing that the worst is now behind you. You're moving into sunny, clear skies here. So there's a feeling of ending May on a note where there's things that you have to clean up from the mental, right? Energy, Ten of Swords. And it's also a feeling of recovery, chopping wood. So there's a recovery, there's a cleanup, there's a, a feeling of positive energy that's here because tens are completions. So let's, you got 1010. For some of you, you're seeing 1010. So let's clarify Aries, this Ten of Pentacles with the Two of Cups. There is definitely going to be an announcement of a family engagement, something that was faded. Someone could be proposing. Someone could be having a family get-together, a reunion. For some of you, you're coming out of the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Swords, clarifying that Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, you are coming out of a place of isolation, feeling insecure, feeling this dark night of the soul. The Page of Swords is also an air sign. It's a messenger. It's about somebody here that was keeping tabs on you. Someone that felt left out in the cold. There could have been a feeling here of separation. A feeling here of somebody here that I feel was definitely keeping tabs on a situation even though they were broken out or feeling left out of a family dynamic. I feel that hope is here. There could be a child from this family dynamic, this could be a sibling, a mother, a child. There could be a child here, Page of Swords, Five of Pentacles, that could have lost their job. Somebody here could have been going through um, a dark night of the soul or a financial loss. And I feel that there's a recovery. I feel that hope is here for you, Aries, when it comes to a family dynamic here. There's a recovery, a spiritual recovery and a financial recovery. If you are dealing with a difficulty with finances, Ten of Pentacles is here. It's like definitely coming to a place where things just change automatically. Sorry about that, Aries. So let's clarify why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Seven of Cups and Six of Pentacles. Someone here in a decision that you're separated from felt very breadcrumbed in the situation. There was confusion, illusion, there was obstacles, and there was challenges. There was definitely choices. There's definitely a feeling of mending a connection with someone. Pisces and Neptune energy could be here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It's a feeling of, of feeling like an option. I feel there was confusion, illusion around this. There was something here that was one-sided. I feel that whatever it is, someone here had options in love or choices in love. And now you're balancing the scales in the situation. Six of Pentacles. Let me get one more card. And there's Aquarius at the bottom. You could have Aquarius in your chart or be dealing with someone. Someone here wasn't truly authentic with you. And I feel that's what's coming in. Because the fates is like Aquarius energy. Like I felt reaching a higher timeline now. There's a feeling here of definitely a wish fulfillment or a reconciling of differences in the situation that you're healing right now. The cups are being blended here. So it's like a feeling of having a glow up in a situation. Let's clarify this seven of cups. Yeah, the empress. Somebody took advantage of the empress. Uh, seven of cups, mending. Venus and Taurus with the ace of cups, your cup run it over. The Empress is going is right now in Cancer during this reading. So the Empress here is Seven of Cups. There is a connection with some of you here. There was a divine connection. The Seven of Cups. Someone here took advantage in a divine counterpart of the Empress here. When the Empress here has got a new beginning, Ace of Cups. It's like definitely making a choice and mending, healing a connection with a divine mother figure. So this could be a mother figure. It represents fertility, beauty, abundance, ace of cups. This is your heart's desire, a love offer. Having a choice, options are here. So Aries, it feels like you have a choice, okay? There is a cup that's being offered to you here. And it's being divinely offered where it's going to bring in balance. 
Someone here is going to be very generous. Somebody here is offering a gift. Somebody here, like I feel, is wanting to mend a connection with you. After, like I feel, there's been a separation, Aries. Yeah, chariot. Things are about to move forward very quickly. Someone could be rushing in towards you here, or there could be travel, or there could be revisiting a past home situation, cancer, chariot, mending. So there's deep soul bond here when I talk about this mending here, knowing the direction to go towards now where there's movement here. So between worlds here with the Knight of Cups, there's definitely a love offer here. Aries, Page of Cups. Yeah, this person here is clearly, it's like someone here is trying to find a way to move towards you, even if they got to cross waters. There could be like uh, international uh, travel between the both of you. There could be a destination where they're across seas. This person's got to cross over the water to get to you, but they will get to you. Crossing over the water in due time, temperance. This person is, like I feel, worth the wait. There's going to be patience required in this connection. This is someone here who I feel, it, with moderation, <clears throat> the cups are being blended so that a path is being cleared out for the both of you, temperance, Sagittarius. It's like this person will go through the extreme weathers to cross over to see you, to be with you. So there's someone at a physical distance that is coming towards you, Aries, in love. And this is a feeling of no matter what distance they have to cross, this person will do it, is what I feel. Page of Cups, a love offer is being presented to you. So the, let's look up with this chopping wood, Ten of Swords, and we're going to get this reading ended. Aries, clarify that Ten of Swords, definitely Six of Cups, a blast from the past. You're returning to the past situation. There's something that you're ending. Like I feel a difficult part of betrayal is ending in a past situation. For some of you, it is. It's a karmic justice. Libra energy is a feeling here of reaching a balance. Uh, being in touch with your truth. Somebody here that wants to right their wrongs. Someone that's coming in to bring a balanced approach here. Uh, like I feel Six of Cups. Someone here that I feel is very quick, wants to move things forward, willing to travel the distance, willing to chop the wood, and willing to take the next step, Six of Cups. So I'm going to leave the reading there, Aries. Thank you so much. If this reading resonated, I would greatly appreciate your comments. I love connecting with you. It helps the reading to grow. And thank you for your patience, Aries. I'll see you for your June horoscope. Thank you.